Hello friends, welcome to another video from Silicon Craftsman, the product and user experience gold at Nier. We are back with yet another video. We're going to jump right in because there is so much happening in the ecosystem that we don't actually have time to cover it all. On the upside, as we know, the holiday period is for family and farming and lucky for us, I don't have any family in this country. So we're going to be farming like the degenerates that we are. Now, on the farming side, there is a major announcement that just dropped. Terra partners with Nier and Aurora bringing UST stablecoin to boost DeFi growth. Just in case you've been living under a rock, I'm going to give you a bit of a glimpse. Terra is a huge protocol. They're actually ranked top 10. And the Terra core offering, which is a UST, which is a synthetic US stablecoin, is actually ranked 19. Almost $10 billion market cap. That's more than the entire near market cap at just under $6 billion. So this is a huge alliance. And when they say boost DeFi growth, I think we mean it. Same as the Oint Finance video, which I made a couple of days ago. I really like these alliances because I see them as a top of the funnel. Now we've got the Nier and Aurora branding in front of these ecosystems, which are massive. These people are very big advocates of their products and their services, and they should be. Like Terra is a brilliant ecosystem. And when they see a project that they respect, such as Terra and All Bridge, expanding into near they automatically stop paying attention today we're going to be looking into the nature of the partnership basically reading the blog post because we know that people don't read nowadays and then we're going to be diving right in and going step by step through the actual bridge to show you how to do it it is simpler than it looks like and lucky for you i did spend three and a half hours today trying to work it out to bring you all the insights and lessons from my journey. And just to wrap it up, because we know that there's been a lot of information dropping on you recently, we're going to have a really quick overview of the Aurora DeFi ecosystem, including the decentralized exchanges where you can go farm and the current opportunities. These will include specific farms for UST. So let's dive right in. Nier is pleased to announce Terra, a leading blockchain protocol deploying a suite of algorithmic decentralized stablecoins, is integrating its UST stablecoin on the Nier on Aurora ecosystems. Now, if you recall our video on OIN Finance, I mentioned that there are two different types of stablecoins. The first one is the one where you have one real dollar in a bank account with a centralized issuer. And for every dollar that goes into the bank account, we've got a dollar on the blockchain this would be the case of usdt allegedly a usdc issued by circle tust by the gemini brothers and then we've got the second category which is synthetic dollars issued by protocols in a decentralized way that are backed by some sort of asset in the case of oin finance it is backed by st near in the case of ust it is backed by luna the native currency from terra so we're not going to go too deep into UST. All you need to know is that it is a synthetic UST and it is massive. <laughs> this integration is made possible through a partnership with leading DeFi protocols, Nearpad and Rose. Shout out to Nearpad and Rose. We're actually big fans of Nearpad. Now, the juicy bit of the announcement is down here, which is that this partnership is only possible thanks to Allbridge. Allbridge is a platform that enables transactions between a bunch of chains. So you can see how they have Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Solana, Avalanche, Huobi, Celo, Phantom, Terra, Aurora, and very recently they're going to be integrating with Near Native as well. This is massive. Near at the moment has the Rainbow Bridge, which is amazing. I love it. The Rainbow Bridge allows you to transfer assets from Ethereum to Near, from Ethereum to Aurora, and from Aurora to Near. So we've got this nice little triangle. However, you may have noticed that the crypto ecosystem has actually grown quite a lot, and it's grown past Ethereum as the center of the universe. And also Ethereum is extremely expensive to use. So a lot of people using the Rainbow Bridge, they love the experience, they hate the fees. So there's a lot of competition happening in the bridging world ecosystems and all bridge is coming up as a really strong contestant to enable transactions between two ecosystems. 
So we're going to be transacting today between Terra and Aurora, which is pretty cool. But in the future, I think it's going to be possible through them to transact between any of these platforms. I'm really excited about this because I strongly believe that the future is multi-chain. This is the near foundation's belief as well. And being able to transfer assets seamlessly and securely between them is a core piece of the equation. This definitely also aligns with my core belief that capital should be able to flow easily anywhere. And it's usually the best product and user experience that will eventually win the day. So we believe that there's different blockchains with different strengths that users should be able to go to and from. And we very strongly believe that Nier has a very strong offering when it comes to product and user experiences. Now, Old Bridge has almost $4 billion bridged, which is quite impressive. And I'll put the link in case you're interested in learning a little bit more about the security model and tokenomics. As the blog post mentioned, there will be UST farming pools on Nearpad, which is one of the leading decentralized exchanges on Aurora. However, we want to give some credit to WannaSwap is one of our beloved um, exchanges. We've made a video on them recently. And within hours, within hours of the announcement, they already had, this is brilliant UI. They have a link to the bridge from Terra. And they also have not one, but two incentivized liquidity pools. So you can send Luna and you can send UST over the old bridge. That's what the AET means. That means that the Luna came from the AET old bridge. And you can get 474% and 206%, which is pretty good, actually. These pools are very new. So these returns are likely to go down over time. As we keep saying every video, it pays to get in early. So without further ado, let's jump right in. When we go to the All Bridge website, which you can get to from the main website, allbridge.io, transfer assets, or from the very conveniently placed Bridge from Terra link, we would strongly encourage all DEXs to include this kind of UI. The information should meet the user where the user is at the right time. We go to the bridge. We select from which chains we want to transfer. So let's do Terra to Aurora. We choose the asset. We're going to be transferring both Luna and UST because we want to do a bit of farming for both. Connect wallet will prompt us to connect Terra Station. So a very quick note here. I had to download the Terra Station wallet, which is the browser extension wallet for the Terra ecosystem. I did not have it before. If you are also new to the Terra ecosystem, this is how to get started. I've also preloaded the Terra wallet with a little bit of Luna and a little bit of UST. I guess it, I would probably be the exception in the sense that if you want to send UST into the near ecosystem, logic says that you already have some UST or some Luna. In my case, I was completely new to the Terra ecosystem. I actually tried sending some Luna that I bought from WannaSwap from Aurora into Terra and I was not able to do it because I needed some Luna in my wallet to be able to sign the transaction. So something to bear in mind, you can download Terra Station and make sure that you have some Luna in your wallet so that you're able to transact. We've connected our Terra wallet through Terra Station. The first step is to enter our address. This is our Aurora address, which we can get from MetaMask. Likewise, you will need to install MetaMask and add Aurora as a network. If you, we'll, we'll include a link on how to do it on the show notes, but we've also covered it in previous videos. If you're watching this one and you're enjoying it, you might as well go back and watch them all because they're all full of insights and nuggets of wisdom. So we enter our Aurora address and we want to, ah, uh, tricky. So we always want to leave some Luna in this wallet so that we're able to keep transacting. So let's do 0.9 because I have no idea what the fees are like in the Terra ecosystem. Okay, there is a tiny fee. It confirms how much I'm going to receive. Send. It will prompt me to confirm the transaction. By the way, the Terra wallet requires you to have a password and don't be like me that I picked the password, which I thought was hilarious and I forgot to write it down. 
So I actually struggled for about half an hour trying to guess a password. Now, lucky for me, I am hilarious. And the password eventually came back to me. But yeah, make sure that you write things down. It's not just enough to back up your seed phrase. So we confirm the transaction. Fantastic. So the transaction has been accepted and it takes five confirmations. Awesome. So after five confirmations, now we have to connect the wallet of the destination blockchain. That is our Aurora wallet. Click on connect wallet, select MetaMask. Interesting how Outbridge has managed the multi-chain UI UX. So it actually lists all the wallets. Solid and Phantom are from Solana, but they're disabled because in this case, we're transferring to Aurora, which is EVM, which is MetaMask. So it's been connected, receive. It prompts us to approve the transaction on MetaMask. As we know, Aurora fees are zero right now. Why? Because we give a shit about user onboarding. We spare people the pain and suffering that I just experienced in Terra of wanting to do a transaction, but not having any Luna to do the transaction. So on Aurora, because we want to onboard the masses, no matter where they're coming from, for a limited time only, the fees, which are normally ridiculously low anyway, are free. Everyone and anyone can transact on Aurora right now without fees, because we want everyone, even if their MetaMask has zero money in it, to be able to do stuff. We confirm transaction successful. How fast is Aurora, by the way? So I've received 0.89 AT Luna, which stands for all bridge Luna. We go to our MetaMask. It may not be here. Oh no, it is. Woohoo! So we'll repeat the process with UST. So we're transferring from Terra Aurora asset UST. Connect wallet, connect it, amount to send, a wallet address. Amount to send, all of it. Oh, 50 cents, damn. It's actually a little bit expensive. Done. So we have received 56.5 ATUST. Let's see if it's on MetaMask already. It probably is not, but that's okay because the old bridge UI will prompt us to add token to the wallet. Add ATUSD to MetaMask, yes. Brilliant. So now we can see both our Luna and our ATUSD. Now, just real quickly before we leave old bridge, you can see that the UI UX is a work in progress. Um, it is slightly annoying that it prompts you to confirm the wallet like every single time. Another thing they could probably improve on is uh, the Rainbow Bridge, which is probably the best bridge out there. I don't want to show off, but it's true. They have a list of all the historical transactions that you've completed. It would be really nice for Old Bridge to include the historical transactions that you've done. But for a bridge that can transfer assets between many chains and it takes less than five minutes, I think they deserve a lot of credit and I'm sure they'll keep improving their offering. So moving on to DeFi on Near, we know that there are three prime exchanges right now. There is Tree Solaris, we've covered in a previous video. We've got WannaSwap, which we've also covered in a previous video. And there is Nearpad. We owe them a video. And they deserve a lot of credit for bringing uh, Terra onto Aurora. The last thing that we're going to do is join the only two farms that are available for bridged assets from Luna, which are AT Luna wrapped near, AT USD wrapped near. So this last bit is going to be the exact same as joining any liquidity pool and farming pool. So we choose the two assets that we want AT Luna wrapped near. I don't know if you can see, but in very light gray color, it shows our balance. We'll put the maximum automatically matches the amount of near. Approve AT Luna. AT Luna has been approved. Confirm adding liquidity. Yes, sir. Confirm it. Brilliant. So we'll do the same for UST. Remember that when you are adding funds to a farm, that's a two step process. The first one is you need to add liquidity to the pool and then you have to add the 
LP tokens, so the liquidity provider tokens, to the actual farm. So we're adding the liquidity now, and we'll add the farm in just a minute. We go to the farm. Choose a T Luna. It automatically recognizes that we've got a balance. Maximum stake. Doing the same with ATUST. And just like that, we can see that the two farms from the Terra ecosystem, AT Luna wrapped near, ATUST wrapped near. We've joined, we've got our balances over here. We'll be earning a whopping 473% and 206%. And we hope that you find this video useful and you do the same. Now, remember that farming and family are like drink and driving. Do not go to Christmas holidays and tell your little cousins to gamble the college funds on this. Do not take your grandma's money. This is the leading age of decentralized finance. We absolutely love pushing the boundaries of technology and explore what is possible. I love sharing knowledge about how to do all these things. However, we do tend to tweak things until they break. So bear in mind, there is some risk. Do your own research. Never put more money than you can afford to lose. And please don't get your family's money. Now, with that happy message, that is it for today. Please leave a comment in the section below if you send some assets from the Terra ecosystem over to Nier. Remember that Nearpad will be launching Luna Farms as well. Let's keep an eye out for that. That's it for me today. Make sure that you subscribe. We have more videos coming out throughout the holiday period. And I'd love if you could check them out. Thank you.